welcome to another edition of Kyle Meredith with. It's the interview series presented by WFPK at WFPK.org. Consequence or the Consequence Podcast Network. Uh, thanks as always for making your way here, checking out the series. You know what to do. Like what you see, what you hear, hit that subscribe button. I, I uh, put out three new interviews every single week. It's a new one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. A uh, great way to keep up with your favorite artists and discover some new ones at all the usual spots in podcast land, like iTunes and Apple Podcasts at uh, Spotify, Podchaser, NPR, WFPK.org, or of course, uh, right here on YouTube for the video versions. I'm Kyle Meredith, and today, once again, I get to catch up with Hillary Duff. We're back with season two of How I Met Your Father on Hulu. The gang's all back, uh, still in their uh, what late 20s, early 30s, so, you know, their lives, they're not exactly put together yet. They're still a bit of a mess, and we get to, we get to enjoy their mess, the hijinks that ensue. Of course, all the red herrings as well. Who will the father be by the end of the story, whenever that is far down the line with seasons? Uh, we don't know that. Uh, you know, Sophie's also been on a uh, bit of a hunt for her own father. So a bit of a dual story that uh, that we're going to get into. Uh, but what's really fun uh, beyond all of that is now on this second season, getting to see who all is going to pop up. We have the legacy cast. You know, Robin was the last time. We've already seen Barney. This time, uh, Neil Patrick Harris is there. Megan Trainer in the second episode. Her and Hillary Duff are uh, big friends in real life, too. In fact, we get to talk about that. We get to talk about a bit of a wish list of who they would love to have uh, as a guest and and so much more. Uh, it's sort of like, where will this story go? You know, where, where does she want to see it go? And, and why do I keep feeling like there's more connections to sex in the city than intended? Uh, all that's in there. We'll even jump back in the time machine for just a little bit of time, too. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. We're talking season two of How I Met Your Father on Hulu. It's Kyle Meredith with Hillary Duff. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing great. Let me say it's been so much fun seeing the gang back together in this uh, second season of How I Met Your Father. Thank you. Yeah. What's uh, let's let, Let's see here. I mean, everybody still seems like they're a big mess as always. And I mean that in the most endearing way, by the way. <laughs> well, we're trying to keep our TV show on the air, you know? We I can't you... like we can't get our, our shit together that that quickly. <laughs> does does it feel like 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 the you know uh, like your character, the rug is pulled out from them at every at every turn? Yes. I mean, I feel like that is very much what Sophie's struggle is, but she's not like She's not like a poor me, but she just finds herself in these these situations, you know, in these these predicaments where things just aren't really always working in her favor. But she's very open to letting it happen again. You know, she doesn't really let it let it get her down. And I love that attitude is she's like she's open to succeed and she's open to fail. And that's a scary area. Like that's a scary zone to live in. And she does it well. Yeah, she keeps the optimism and, and and surprising through the entire season. Yes, even when she shouldn't. <laughs> even when <laughs> someone should be like, girl, stay home. Give yourself a couple days. She doesn't. Well, especially, you know, with a show like this, uh, seeing the last season, of course, knowing that the show that it was built on, like, this is probably one of those unanswerable questions, but like, there, how many red herrings are just floating around at all times trying to throw us off the track? I think a lot. I think a lot. You know, I think that that our creators have done a really good job of creating ways for them to finagle new people in there as well. You know, like we we heard on the very first episode, like the, the night I met your father, like your father was in the room this night. But now we've shot multiple flashbacks of different parts of that room that we didn't see in the first episode. And, you know, they come off of This Is Us. So they're like timeline geniuses. And I think that they're they're messing with all of us. And the, as a cast, we've like collectively just given up and thrown our hands up. We're like, well, we guess we'll find out when everybody else does or slightly before. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, but I don't know. I don't even know if they know, to be honest. I think that they're riding the wave of adventure and opportunity. And, um, you know, it's it's easy to like read a fan form and be like, yes, it makes sense that it's Sid. But it could be Josh Peck. Like, we don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Well, it is fun to kind of keep up with that. Or just to, as you say, kind of put the hands up and, and go along for the ride. And, yeah. and, and and seeing how you are including everybody. I mean, let's 
talk a little bit about the guest list on this. I mean, we've seen Megan Trainer, Michael McDonald is on here. Yes. Uh, do, do you all put together a wish list Trying at to all? Eat people. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, oh gosh, you know what? Tien said something earlier that was so genius that would be just like epic. Would be, she thinks that um, Jennifer Coolidge should play her and T her and um, Jesse's mom, and I was like, oh my god, Jennifer Coolidge and Io and mom, yes, be so funny. Uh, but speaking of riding waves, she's riding one. Yeah, perfect time. I know, I know. I keep saying, everyone keeps asking me, obviously, because she played my stepmom in Cinderella Story. And I'm like, it's so cool to watch what her career has turned into in the past year. It's yeah. just incredible. Yeah. Well, and, and, and I mentioned Megan Trainer. I mean, that's such a, a fun little episode, too. And then to read also, that, you know, like she's Megan, pregnant now. She's such a great friend. Way to announce your pregnancy the day before we drop our episode with you having a baby. I was like, Megan, you know what? You marketing goddess, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of like a gender reveal party in a way. And, and, and like, yeah. She's great. I was so lucky that she, she was down to, to come on and play. And she had never filmed a show before. So she was really excited. And she's a friend of mine. And, and it's always nice when you can work with a friend, you know? Yeah, especially, I mean, having even the musical backgrounds. And, and of course, we get that even with the, uh, the Meredith arc this time around. Like, I don't know how much you, you sort of think on that side of thing, but uh, but do you get to play around with your musical life in, in these ways, in these moments? I don't know if I really, I guess I'm happy I can, you know, carry a tune when they ask me to sing, but I I don't. I'm really not trying to sing as I would as Hillary, you know, because Sophie is Sophie and you know, in this moment, she's using this as a tool to save herself in this situation. But she's, you know, she's such a goofball, man. She just fails. She tries and she fails. And so with the, I obviously didn't want to completely like botch the song, but it's supposed to be a, a funny moment. And then Josh comes in and, you know, d doubles down on the whole, like, it's, it's just such a funny, funny scene. And I, I do love the way they incorporate you know, things of my life, if it's dancing or singing um, or, you know, clips from Lizzie McGuire, like they're just, they're kind of genius. And it's very fun to play with my past um, yeah. right now in this show. Did you know that they were going to do that, the Lizzie the clip? Yes. They asked me if, if I was down for that. And I was 100% always inclusive of, of Lizzie. So... <laughs> Um, of course, I also got to bring up, uh, you know, it, it seems like it's now starting to be maybe a tradition that we have a little bit of the legacy cast drop in. This time we get, you know, Patrick Harris as yes. teased at the beginning of the season. Do you get a sense from them of what it's like to put the clothes back on? You know, when Kobe came on and when he came on, these people are just like, they know what's up. They know how to do this. They did this for nine years. So I could imagine... <laughs> Sorry. Um, I could imagine it's easy for them to step into this, you know, and um, I guess it would. I guess if someone had me play Kelsey on Younger tomorrow, like and put the clothes on, I like I, I would do it, you know. And so I it's it's just lovely that a lot of the same crew is the crew from How I Met Your Mother. And like our, our director, Pam Fryman, and a lot of our producers, they were on How I Met Your Mother. And so seeing them all together, it kind of makes you realize that like, th oh, they had something special. We're all new, you know, new relationships, new people. We're having a lot of fun, but like that's a nine year relationship. So mm -hmm. um, it's just really cool to see and, and like a little intimidating in the best way possible. You mm -hmm. know, when, well. when Neil came on, he had four pages of dialogue and, you know, he just breezed through it in the most Barney slash NPH fashion and was just like so handsome and so charming and all the things that it's cool. And I, I'm assuming our, you know, our, I think our dream is to have all of the original cast come on, but, you know, doing it in a way that's really smart and clever. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been fun so far. And, and seeing Neil do Barney. I mean, that's... Come on. It's hilarious what you guys got him doing in that, in that episode. He just turns it on and gets in his body and you're like, Barney, what? It's so cool. It's so cool. Um, you know, speaking of uh, of fan theories, I, I feel like it's going to explode later on because the ties to Sex and the City are just getting deeper, and 
and, and I'm not going to go too spoilery on here, but but it's starting to make me wonder if you guys are doing that on purpose. I don't think so. I don't, that's a question for Isaac. I don't think so. But yeah, I'm just waiting for them to make a phone call in my direction, you know? <laughs> a little reciprocal thing? Come on, Darren. Yeah, Come right. on. Yeah. SJP. <laughs> Uh, again, just fun with the uh, the cameos and everything else. And I, I, I did want to hit the soundtrack too as well. Like, I don't, like, sure, you get the electric slide, which is fun. Like, which is the thing is like, does everybody automatically know that? Did you have to teach that to anyone? Are you kidding me? I had to like spend a Sunday, a good hour and a half of my Sunday on YouTube learning the electric slide. Really? In, alone in my bedroom. Yes. Yes. And then I had Francia help me with some of it, too. I was like, because she's the, the real dancer in the group. Oh, my God. The things that we do on this show. There's definitely times where I'm like on YouTube looking at a tutorial. See, I really did think that they, that's one of those things they brought up. I was like, does everybody know this? That's that, So we're going to do that one. That's Oh, if everyone was like, we're going to like two step, I could do that. <laughs> Not the electric slide. Not the electric slide. <laughs> Yet everybody pulled it off. But even with that, I mean, when a man loves a woman is, you know, had the hearts on here. There's a great cover if it makes you happy. Like, I know a lot of this stuff happens in post. Oh my God, how lovely was that cover of If It Makes You Happy? Yes. Oh, yes. I loved that moment. I was like, what a choice. I don't know who was covering it, but it was good. You think I would have written that down if I'm doing my research, but I did not. <laughs> how dare you? But I, you know, I was the, what I guess I was going to get at there is knowing a lot of that stuff does happen in post. Like, do, do do they ever work that in? I guess as you're shooting or in the rehearsals or anything, do you do you get those? You know, this is what's going to be playing to help no. to help out in any way. No, I think sometimes when they get a song cleared, like didn't we do a really great Cure song somewhere too? Mm -hmm. Forget when, but um, but when they get it cleared, they get excited and they come and tell us. Like, oh, we cleared this song for that moment. And we're like, ah, that's so cool. <laughs> um, but in the, you know, when we're shooting, no. Like, it's funny. Everyone's job here is just so important. Everyone's department kind of comes together like these puzzle pieces. And, and music being a big one of those that we don't necessarily have on the day. We're just doing it. And it feels special enough because our scripts are good. But then they add the music element on top or they edit it in a certain way. And you're like, man, everyone's job is important. Yeah. Well, it's not every show pulls it off. And I feel like the uh, the soundtrack is sort of its own little character mm -hmm. in, in this show. It's done yeah. so well. My my compliments Especially to your music with supervisor. The, like the nostalgia of like, I mean, even the train song from season mm -hmm. one, like no one doesn't know that song or like have a memory with that song. Yeah. So looking back yeah, at those. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Yeah, moments. Which, by the way, I only noticed a, a while ago, it's... um. Uh, 20th anniversary of the hit clips when you did that, but not that that has anything to do with this, but uh, fun little moments of the past. Oh, don't say 20 years ago. Don't do that to me. <laughs> I thought we um, were friends. Well, that's where I'll have to leave you too. <laughs> this is where I'm going to have to leave you. <laughs> uh, Gosh, I wonder if we're going to speak next season. Oh, well, that's, we'll see. <laughs> I'm hopeful. Listen, uh, seriously, congratulations. It's so much fun seeing the gang back together. I will look forward to doing this next season once again. Me too. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thanks to my guest. Also, thanks to you for uh, for checking out the episode in the series. Before you get out of here, hit that subscribe button. Again, uh, you get three brand new interviews every single week. New and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at uh, right here on YouTube or, of course, anywhere in podcast land, including iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podchaser, NPR, or WFPK.org as well. A great way to keep up with your favorite artists and discover new ones as well. Then after that, actually head over to WFPK.org. That's where I do a show, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern. It's an hour full of song premieres, music news, anniversary spins, bonus interviews, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern at WFPK.org. Consequence has your music and film news. You can also find me on the social media spots, uh, Facebook, Instagram, mostly on Twitter. All three of them, the address is at Kyle Meredith. Do hope you like and follow along. That does it for another edition. I'm Kyle Meredith. I'll see you next time.